Okay, and this is going to be a quick instruction on how to use flexi gauge. Now, this is flexi gauge. It comes in different sizes, um, and it helps you to measure the clearances of your bearings. Since you can't get feeler gauges or anything in there, how do you measure the gap on the bearing on the crankshaft? Well, with this, a flexi gauge. Um, it has a very thin little reed inside of a squashable plastic, a certain diameter, which then gets put laid across the bearing, which I'll show you in a minute, and then you tighten the bearing up against the crankshaft. Then when you've done that and you remove the cap again, it'll be squashed to a certain width. And then you measure the width to the markings on this packet. And whatever width it is, and the width comparisons to these markings, will tell you how squashed it is, will tell the flexi gauge how much gap there was between the crankshaft and the bearing surface. It's very ingenious actually to do it that way. So basically what I'll show you now is how to do that. Um, for example, this is one of the bearings that came off the engine. You open the packet. Sorry if I was out of view. Let me see. Inside there, as you can see, is a tiny thin little green strip of squashable material, probably some sort of plastic. And you cut a piece off the same width as the bearing, approximately, like so. which you then transfer crossways on the bearing shell and this is from the damaged engine so it's not you lay it in there as such crossways this way then you assemble it into the engine tighten these bolts to the correct tension which will squash this and I'll show you in a little while after I've done one. Then you get this paper packet and then you measure to see how wide that thin strip has been squashed. And when you and then it will tell you on the packet the gap that you have between your bearing and your crankcase. Yeah, crankshaft, sorry. So um, after I've done one, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, here I've got one ready about to squash up. This is a piece of flexi gauge on the bearing shell. Um, these are old bearings, as you can see, not new. I'm just seeing how bad the damage is on this crankshaft. So, this is the flexi gauge. And I'm going to squash it up, and after I've squashed it, hopefully the gap will still be okay, and all I'll need to do is replace the bearings. But we'll see. Okay, I've uh, wow, well, uh, see if that better. Just squashed one, and you can see there how flat it's been squashed. Now I compare that to this gauge, which says when it's if it's squashed to that width, it is point zero. 0.25 millimeters, 0 0.025 millimeters clearance on this bearing, and according to my paperwork, it needs to be between 0 0.01 and 0 0.048, so it's right dead smack in the middle. So this is an acceptable clearance for this particular crankshaft. But sadly, number six, seven, and eight are not, so the engine has to come out. 
But that is how you use a flexi gauge. If you like this, please subscribe and like.